Hey guys, Steve Harris here with MuseThemes.com. Welcome back, and we're very excited to show you our first widget of 2015, which is the State Transitions widget. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to animate the states of a button or an element in the Muse canvas. So as you can see with these examples on screen, as I mouse over them, the rollover or hover states in this case are animated. So you actually get this really nice smooth transition between the states. Now, these widgets aren't that impressive when you look at this, but how about an example with images? We've taken this widget a step further, and if you roll over these images, you get this really tasteful transition that appears. And of course, we have text, we have an icon over top. Lastly, these are very elaborate examples, but you can see that when we mouse over this button, we get this kind of transition around the outside. This one blurs with an icon coming into effect, and this one actually scales up. So it's a really powerful widget and it looks really simple at a glance, but there are some tricks to making this work and I'll show you how to do this in Muse right now. So let's jump into Muse and I'm going to start fresh. So as you can see, we have this working file here, which we are planning on distributing once we build out a few more options for you. But for now, let's just create a brand new page and let's drag out our widget onto the page. So in our toolbox file, let's look for the state transitions widget and drag it out there. So as you can see, when you drag this out on the page right away, you get a sample button that we've created and you get the widget controller here. Now this widget's really unique in the sense that the controller will actually display the style name that you've input on the flyout panel. So as you can see on the flyout panel, we do have a graphic or character style name applied, which is ghost button round. And of course this button below has a graphic style applied with the same name. So this is a great way for you to use this widget on several elements on your site and be able to tell what's applied to which controller. So if we just preview this page in the browser like this, you can see that our button does already animate. But let's build something a little more elaborate like those photo examples we saw before. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag out a blank state button onto the canvas. Again, the state buttons are really powerful for doing things like this. So let's start with that. I'm gonna delete the text out for now. And let's just use kind of the blank frame. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the size of this frame to something specific. So in this case, I want to go 500 pixels wide and 300 pixels high, there. Now I'm just going to remove the rounded corners because I don't really need those on this. And as you can see, we just have a blank frame that has a rollover state, which is a little bit darker. So the next thing we need to do to build the image that's going in here is we need to create an image that looks like this. As you can see, we have two images stacked on top of each other. And each of these is the size of our frame in Muse. So as you can see, or if we reference back to this, of course, this frame is 500 by 300. So what I did is in Photoshop, I created an image that was 500 by 600, basically twice as big on the vertical side. And then I just created two images or stacked two images. So once I save that out, let's go ahead and on the normal state for this widget, Let's fill and add an image, and we're going to fill it with that sample that I provided there. Now in terms of the positioning, let's position it to top and center. Now the next thing we're gonna do is on the rollover trend, or the rollover state, let's just change the positioning on that fill to the bottom center. So what that's done is shifted that element up inside the frame. Okay, so now that we have those rollover states applied, I'm gonna delete out this old default button. Let's use our widget controller here and let's animate that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a graphic style and I'm gonna call this graphic style transition one. And on our widget controller, let's go ahead and enter that same graphic style name, transition one, and let's change some settings. So we have the transition time. This is of course the time it's going to take for the element to transition. So let's just leave that at 0.5. Then we also have a delay before the transition starts. So let's just add a very small delay like 0.2. And then we have an easing style. I ran through easing styles in a previous video, but let's just leave that at ease. Okay. So now that we have that set and we have our graphic style applied and of course our widget controller linked up, let's preview this in the browser. 
So there you see now when I mouse over it, it shifts up because we've changed the positioning of that fill, but it's doing so in this nice smooth transition. Now the next thing that we can do is we can apply text to this too. So I always recommend with this widget that you build your elements kind of outside of the state button. Things can get a little bit confusing if you're working within the button itself. So let's go ahead and create a simple block of text and we'll call this portfolio. And let's pick a different font, let's say Lee Gothic. I'm just gonna up that font size to say 30 and I'll change the color to white. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just gonna move the text. Actually, before I do that, let's create a style based on that already. So I'm gonna create a graphic style in this sense because what I'm going to do is change the transparency of this element. Now, one thing that's really important to remember is if you're changing something like transparency, it's typically a graphic style. If you're changing something like the font size or the font letting, for example, that would be a character style. So you can use either one. So let's create a new graphic style here and I'm gonna call this text one and click okay. Now I'm gonna move this down onto our state button and I'm actually going to right align this so it's kind of in the corner there. Okay, now the next thing we'll do is let's go to our rollover state and I'm just gonna actually fade this out. So let's go zero. Okay, so now we have a simple button which has some text on it and then it should fade out for the rollover state. Now, what we'll do to this text, because I've created a new graphic style called text one, is let's just duplicate this widget here and let's call that text one. Okay, and now we could apply, if we want, a different transition timing, a different delay. So let's maybe set this to 0.8 and we'll add a little bit of a delay to 0.3. That's gonna be fairly subtle because obviously that's less than a second, but let's give it a shot and if you're working on the canvas and you find these a little bit in the way, just feel free to drag them off on the side. They don't actually need to be on the canvas at all. So I could zoom out a little bit and you see they sit on the side there. Okay, let's go ahead and preview this in the browser and see how it looks. There, so as you can see the photo transitions up and that little delay on the text actually looks quite nice because the text fades out behind. So again, you can do some really elaborate stuff with this, um, something like this, which for example has SVG icons set in the fill and they're just transitioning from left to right the same way that we changed the positioning of that image within the fill. Uh, on this, we just have an icon appearing in the hover state. And of course, on this one, we would have the text size increasing. And on this text below, the of course, the color is changing. So it's really powerful. You can use tons of these on the page. If I show you the page for that demo, you'll see that off to the left side, we actually have many, many of these widgets um, sitting out there controlling all of these various elements. So it's really great and I think you're going to like it. Enjoy and let us know if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks again.